Hi friends, today I'm going to recap a 2022 action and adventure film titled The Batman. Spoiler warning, watch out and take care. The film begins with the Riddler is spying on and breaking to the residence of Gotham's mayor. On Halloween, Don Mitchell Jr. was recruited to assassinate him. Later that night, Batman, who has been on the run for two years, arrives and fights a gang of kids who are about to attack a stranger. When Batman detects the bat signal, he's led to Mayor Mitchell's murder location by Lieutenant James Gordon. They begin their investigation and discover a letter addressed to Batman that has a puzzle and a page full of strange symbols. Commissioner Pete Savage, outraged, orders Batman to flee the site and then holds a press conference to discuss the crime. Thanks to a video recording, eye contact lens, Bruce heads to an abandoned subterranean subway station owned by Wayne Enterprises, which he utilizes as his hideout. Bruce can print a copy of the Riddler's letter and begin deciphering the symbols. Bruce cracks the code with Alfred's help and is able to recover a thumb drive from one of Mayor Mitchell's cars. Inside the thumbnail, Gordon and Batman see several photos of Mayor Mitchell and a mysterious girl taken at the Iceberg Lounge, a nightclub run by mobster Carmen Falcone's lieutenant, the Penguin. Batman visits the Penguin's nightclub to question him about the girl in the photo and whether he has any information regarding the mayor's death, but the Penguin denies knowing anything. During his conversation with the Penguin, Batman sees Selina Kyle, who works there as a waitress, and recognizes her boots as the same ones that appear in one of Mitchell's photos. Batman follows Selina, Kyle to her house and finds out that the woman of the photos, Anika, is Selina's friend and roommate. While Batman is spying on Selina, she leaves her house dressed as a cat woman and heads to Mayor Mitchell's house to recover Anika's passport. Batman meets Selina and they fight, but Batman quickly sees that Selina is only trying to protect her friend and has nothing to do with Mitchell's death. When they get to Selina's apartment, they discover that someone had broken in and kidnapped Anika thanks to a leaked film in which the Riddler tortures Commissioner Savage and claims that he will reveal the truth about Gotham City. Later that night, after learning of Savage's death, Batman travels to Gordon to examine the evidence retrieved from Savage's crime scene, where he discovers yet another puzzle and a code. While Alfred is working on the code, Batman asks Selina for assistance in obtaining more information by sending her back to the Iceberg Lounge to see who else frequents the establishment. Selina discovers that Savage was on Falcone's payroll as his district attorney, Hill Coulson and after leaving the club, the Riddler abducts Coulson. The next day, Bruce goes to Mitchell's funeral in search of the Riddler, but the service is cut short as a car crashes into the structure. When Coulson departs the car, Bruce observes another letter addressed to Batman taped to his chest. When Gordon notices that Coulson has a time collar bomb strapped to his neck, he orders the building to be evacuated. Later that day, Batman appears on the scene and has a video contact with the Riddler due to a phone tape taped to Coulson's hand. The Riddler gives Coulson three riddles and tells him that if he doesn't answer them properly in 90 seconds, he will be killed. He threatens to detonate the bomb strap to his neck, thanks to Batman's assistance. Coulson is able to solve the first two riddles, but refuses to solve the third because the answer is the name of an informant who has assisted the Gotham City Police Department in busting Ansel Maroney's operation in a historic drug bust. Many years ago, the Riddler detonates the bomb, rendering Batman comatose. When he awakens, he finds himself surrounded by cops within the GCPD building, but thanks to Gordon's assistance, he's able to flee. Later, Alfred cracks the Riddler's second club. A Batman deduces that the informant the Riddler is attempting to unmask is the Penguin Gordon, who tries to catch him during a heroin sale, but Selina peers into the scene before they can proceed forward. Batman confronts Selina and the fine Danica's body in one of the bags when she's stealing a money bag from one of Falcone's skies. The Penguin knows that Batman is there to catch him and tries to leave. Batman jumps into the Batmobile to pursue him and the Penguin is apprehended at the end of the chase. While interrogating the Penguin, Gordon and Batman realize that he's not the informant and thanks to the second message left by the Riddler, Batman gains access to an online chat with the Riddler who leads both of them to an abandoned orphanage that used to be run by Bruce's parents. While in the orphanage, Gordon and Batman learn that the Riddler was a resident and that he has a grudge against the Wayne family. The Riddler chooses Bruce Wayne as his next victim. Bruce tries to warn Alfred, but it's too late. Alfred is already in the hospital after opening a letter bomb delivered by the Riddler and addressed to Bruce. The next day, Selina phones Bruce and asks to meet with him. She confesses that she's Falcone's daughter, but he has never acknowledged her. Selina also seeks Batman for assistance in apprehending the killer of her friend Anika, but he refuses. Later that day, the Riddler releases video containing evidence indicating that Thomas Wayne, who was running for mayor at the time of his murder, 
hired Falco to murder a journalist for threatening to publish embarrassing details about Martha Wayne's mental illness history. Bruce confronts Alfred who grew up believing his father was a morally upright man. When Alfred awakens in the hospital, he tells Bruce that his father had asked Falcone to frighten the journalist. After learning of the murder, however, he decided to hand over Falcone and confess to the police. Alfred speculates that Falcone had both Thomas and Martha killed to avoid this, but warns Bruce that he can never be sure. When Bruce sees the bat signal in the sky at the end of their talk, he goes out to meet Gordon, but when they arrive, they find that Selena was the one they contacted due to a recorded phone call that Danica made to Selena before she was slain. Selena goes to the Iceberg Lounge to kill Falcone after knowing that Anika was strangled by Falcone because Mitchell told her that Falcone was the informant. Batman, on the other hand, breaks into the nightclub just in time to stop her, telling her that Falcone will be arrested as a result of the taped phone call she recovered. The Riddler shoots and kills Falcone from his flat in a neighboring building as they leave the nightclub. The Riddler is apprehended by the police and Batman, who subsequently reveals himself to be a forensic accountant with access to a charity's transactions. Thomas Wayne established the trust fund, but owing to the Riddler's notes, Batman discovers this after his father's death. While Batman and the cops are searching the Riddler's flat, Falcone gained custody of the fund and used it to bribe the bulk of the GCPD officers in order to keep control of the city. Batman discovers a third letter addressed to him, along with a note that reads, See you in hell. When Batman pays a visit to the Riddler in Arkham Asylum, the Riddler reveals that Batman motivated him to expose the corrupt and save Gotham City. Meanwhile, the cops uncover a dark web chat where the Riddler plotted with some of his henchmen to assassinate the new mayor elect, Bella Rio, back in Arkham. When Batman tells the Riddler that he doesn't agree with his methods, the Riddler becomes agitated and tells him that his plan isn't finished yet. To locate more clues, Batman returns to the Riddler's apartment where he discovers a map scratched into the wood floor beneath the flat's carpet that shows the locations of multiple vehicle bombs. The bombs left behind by the Riddler detonate destroying the breakwaters encircling Gotham and causing the city to flood. In the indoor arena where Mayor-elect Bella was giving her victory speech, a shelter has been set up. The Riddler's followers plan to kill Bella in the arena, but Batman intervenes with the help of Selina, and after a tense fight, he's able to stop them after hearing a word he usually uses when confronting criminals from one of Riddler's followers. When Batman recognizes that his acts are instilling the wrong kind of terror in the public, he volunteers to assist authorities in rescuing flood survivors and discovers that what the city requires is not only someone who criminals fear, but also someone who is a beacon of hope. Batman promises to change his methods in order to restore hope to Gotham's residents. Selina and Batman meet at Gotham Cemetery towards the end of the movie. Selina believes Gotham is beyond salvation and asks Batman to leave with her. Batman refuses and tells her that he'll continue to attempt to save the city as they both depart on their motorcycles. Until she vanishes into the morning, Batman watches Selina through one of his rearview mirrors. The more grounded Batmobile is nevertheless a sight to behold, and there is one of the best Batmobile moments in any of the Batman films, whether it's Batman and Catwoman standing on a Gotham rooftop watching the sunset or Batman storming into Penguin's club and destroying his men, Greg Fraser's cinematography is just stunning. Every facet of the Batman is firing on all cylinders, thanks to Michael Giacchino's delicate and gorgeous soundtrack. With how the acting, screenplay, cinematography, music, and more all mix perfectly into a dramatic, mysterious, action-packed, and character-driven movie, the Batman is a masterpiece. By delving into what makes him tick, Pattinson gives one of his strongest performances as Batman, while the supporting cast of Kravitz, Wright, Dano, and Circus complements him in the film's themes. It's not just one of the best Batman films ever made, but also one of the best superhero pictures ever created. And it's sure to please both Batman enthusiasts and the general public. We hope you enjoyed our video from today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications of new and interesting videos.